Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome back, my beloved kings and queens. Heavenly Father, thank you for allowing me to see another day. And for those of you who are joining me, we need to be grateful for these days, y'all. So with that being said, today I am coming to you all with a Q&A segment from three beautiful queens here uh, who watch my channel. I'm also going to be talking about some different things and I'm going to definitely be talking about my giveaways okay because that's important I need to get that information out so the first question comes from Sandra and Sandra wanted to know when or can I do a tutorial live all right so Sandra I'm going to say yes I can do a jewelry tutorial live or how to make video live uh, I just have to sit down and go over some things as far as, you know, my family. And because it's not always a good time for me to go live early in the morning. Sometimes I, I was going live early, early in the morning because I start my morning between 1 and 2 in the morning. So I'm up at 1 and 2 in the morning. Okay. That's how I have to do to get things done. So... Yes, I will do a live. When I do my live, I'm going to make sure that I send, put up a notification to let you all know when I will be going live, okay? Now, with that jewelry tutorial making live that I do, it's only going to be about making jewelry. I know a lot of times people come because I be doing uh, messages and stuff like that, inspirational messages, I talk but that is not what that video is going to be about it's going to just be about me showing you all how to make and create something in a live setting okay the second question goes to anita thank you anita anita wants to know if she is allowed to recreate the jewelry that she see me do here on this platform i am going to say yes queen yes you can recreate any DIYs, any jewelry tutorials, any how to make videos that I do on this platform, you are well within your rights to recreate those items, okay? It doesn't matter to me. Um, yes, you're well within your rights to create them. I also want to say for those of you who are new and this is your very first time here on my channel, I have a playlist, okay? I have a playlist that I have put all of my how to make videos in. So if you want to go and revisit those, go and watch as many as possible. I have plenty things for you all to go and watch, uh, plenty of techniques for you to learn. So by all means, go and do that, okay? But yes, Anita, you can recreate any of my tutorials that I do here on this platform, okay? My third question is from June, and June asked me about a video that I recently did called uh, How to Make a Cowie Shell Earring. Now, the video came in two different parts. The first part, I showed you all how to spray paint the beads that was in the first part so if you missed the first part you need to go watch the first part so that you can have the first part to go with the second part because it's all it's all informative okay so and the second part i show you all how to make the actual earring itself but this is what i'm going to say now june wanted to know where to place the spacer beads at three minutes and 25 seconds in the video, that 
in that instructional video. That is where I show you how to add your spacer beads and when to place your spacer beads on your earring. Okay, three minutes and 25 seconds in that video. Now, I am going to say this. I get questions all the time about people asking me about different things. Sometimes it's random. Sometimes it could be, what was the size of the wire? What type of wire are you using? I try to make sure that I give very informative information whenever I am making and creating anything for you all, okay? I find that I think that the problem is is that people skip through the video and the first part of the video, I'm going to make sure you have everything you need. I'm going to try to tell you the size of the wire you need. I'm going to give you information on the type of beads that you need. You're going to get all of that in the very beginning. Some way down into the video, that's when you're going to get the details, okay? You have to make sure that you hunt for the details. If you are watching a video, and it's a how to make video, instructional video, you gotta make sure you watch it from the beginning till the end. Because somewhere along the line, I may do something. And, and I'm saying this because for those of you who make and create jewelry, you may see something that I make. And you may already have in your mind that, okay, I know how to do that. But my hands, this is the difference. My hands and your hands are different. So the way that I turn or twist or I may uh, squeeze a, or put a bead on is not going to be the way you do it, okay? Because our hands are different. So whenever you are watching an instructional video, you got to watch it from the beginning to the end because if you skip to get to the end part of the video, you're going to miss out on everything that's supposed to come, come along with it, especially if you are making something that I'm creating, okay? Have you ever made something, and I just recently did a video about this, and you created it, and it didn't come out the way that you saw? Most of the time, it's because... Now, I can only speak from my perspective because everybody else do videos differently. I have went and watched people make jewelry and 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 had to go back in to re-watch something that they did and it was t cut totally out. It went from this part to that part. I never leave y'all like that, ever. Whenever I make an instructional video, I give y'all everything from the beginning to the end. The only time I fast forward my video is when I'm doing something repeatedly. Like if I have to keep making certain things repeatedly, that's the only time that I will fast forward the video. But you get everything from A through Z. Okay, you get all of that. I don't leave anything out. Okay, so please make sure that if you are watching an instructional video, that you watch it from the beginning to the end. Because if I do anything different, anything, your item is not going to come out that way because you decided to skip from the beginning and go to the end. All right? So that's my take on that. I want to also talk about my giveaways. I recently did a giveaway and I chose two winners. Now, it is not my responsibility to look for you when you have won something for free. When I give instructions in a video, in a giveaway video, I give real specific instructions for you to follow. And if you reach out to me in my email and you say, cause I recently, um, recently went through this. If you say, Joyce, I sent you an email some time ago. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go look in my email to make sure that I didn't miss it because sometimes I do miss things. I'm not perfect, okay? I do miss things. But if I go in and I don't see it and then I tell you to send me another email 
And if you don't send me in another email, then I'm not responsible for that. Okay, anything, I try to do what I say here on my platform. I'm not perfect. I'm human, just like everybody else. But when it comes to you, if you reach out to me and you tell me what's going on, I will jump right in and do whatever I need to do to solve the problem, to solve the situation, to solve the issue. Okay, that's what I will do. Once again, if you if you are in a giveaway and you have up until five days, if I if I pick your name on a Sunday and you don't reach out to me, then as far as I'm concerned, you're not really interested in receiving that prize. It's free. You don't pay nothing for it. I pay for shipping. I pay for everything. Okay. I pay for everything. Whenever I do my giveaways, you don't pay for nothing. You get a free item. All right? So I just wanted to put that out there that when y'all decide to do these giveaways, please make sure that if you are really interested, write me an email. Okay? I need that email because the only way that I can reach out to you or send you your prize is from the information that you send me. If I never receive it, then it's nothing that I can do about that. Okay? So, with that being said, on that note, I want to say thank you all so very much for joining me. Please make sure you thumbs up this video so that this video can go into rotations for other people to view and see. I want to say thank you to my new supporters. I want to say thank you to June, Anita, and Sandra for writing me these questions. I greatly appreciate it, and I hope that I have answered it to the best of my ability. Uh, thank you to my new supporters and my loyal supporters. Thank you all so much for watching. Y'all have a wonderful and awesome day. And until my next upload, peace and blessings, everyone. See ya.